to female. Yeah. If that's, the universe that is sense. consistent. I think it I is. I think it is. Oh, yeah. Great. We agree on that. Thank you sir. for that question. Yeah, let's go to Great you. Great question. Uh, thank you very much for talking to us. And also, your view on consciousness and energy sounds very similar to what Dr. Robert Lanza proposes in Biocentrism. Um, so that may be of interest to you if you haven't read that text. But uh, about five years ago, text. you spoke about harmonic wave sequencing and how that could Harmonic wave resequencing. Re very important distinction there. Resequencing, not just sequencing. Resequencing and how that could possibly solve cancer or genetic ailments within the next... Oh, hands up in the air. Oh, he brought up the cancer. Wasn't prepared for this. It's five years. I think that was about five years ago. So oh, oh, is there much oh, oh. progress on that? Call and how do you propose that this resequencing would out. actually recode people's genetics and order... You said five years ago that you could solve all of cancer uh, in five years. So how's that coming along? To prevent them from getting Simple. elements. Simple. Our DNA is made up of what? Five elements, right? Hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus, and oxygen. Do you know how they're arranged? How the are phosphorus arranged? sits right here in the middle, and you've got four oxygen atoms surrounding it. Then there's mm. another phosphorus, two more oxygen. You know, I've been accused before by students of, of teaching with my hands, so to speak, making gestures and stuff, and, you know, I've, I've heard good things about it, but this guy's teaching with, like, his whole body here. Check this out. Now, now these are the legs of that double helix. These are the legs. Now, the, the ladder steps on it. They become the adenine, the guanine, the cytonine, and thionine. Mm. thionine. The A T C G's. Right. Yeah. It turns out hydrogen. They used Makes to think sense. that energy, the the body transferred or understood the energy information through electricity. They're finding out it's through frequency. Uh, okay. Mm, I think that bodies do most likely understand things based on more of electrical impulses and reactions more so than whatever it is that you're calling frequency. Frequency of what? How come nobody ever asked that? Whenever there's like a, a pseudoscientist or a person that's like into spirit science or whatever it is, and they're talking about frequency, how come nobody ever says frequency of what? Like, what are you talking about the frequency of? How frequent something occurs is what frequency is. If you're talking about waves, yeah, waves have certain types of frequency because you're talking about how frequent... You have to, you know, it's like a time span as far as uh, the, the frequency of, it, it's an, an inverse um, proportion to wavelength because the more higher frequency you have, the less wavelength you have. And there's, that's something that's characteristic of waves. But when people talk about frequency, they don't really define what type of frequency they're actually talking about. Of course, we're doing a fucking phone call, of course not. No, it's not a fucking phone call. It's my alarm. Telling me to wake the fuck up. All right, so, Terrence, that was a sign from God. Well, guess what hydrogen sounds like? Oh. Hmm. Synesthesia. Synesthesia is basically an overlap of senses. It's like when you can, you know, smell colors and, and, and hear uh, emotions and things like that. <clears throat> and it's characteristic of one of two things, usually, and that's either um, psychosis, mm -hmm. you know, or uh, very high doses of psychedelic drugs, which was another thing that I thought about when I saw this first lec this lecture the first time. I was like, maybe he's just on like a 10 strip, you know, like he's just on a bunch of LSD. That's a definite possibility. I still think. Um, let's see. It's the key of E. Guess what? Um, and it's the color yellow. And it's the color yellow. That's what proper physics gets you to. Mm, that's what proper physics, proper, that's what proper physics gets you to. Hydrogen is the color yellow, and it's in the pitch of E. 
E major, I guess, not E minor or E sharp or E flat. That's what proper, proper physics gets you to. Hyd oxygen is a chartreuse and it's the key of F over F sharp. Now they use it, like I said. F over F sharp? Is that, why is there, why is it like a fraction now? Why is it like over? Information used to be thought about as just electrical information passing on. But I got mm -hmm. a question for you. Right. Have you ever been right. at a party with some of your friends you ain't seen mm. in 10 years? This sounds like a really good scientific setup for a really rigorous scientific analysis. Let's see. I was like 14, you know, hung out and there's a song that came on and you like, ah, and everybody got up and was live at that moment. Now say 10 years later, you got a friend with you. Yeah, he's a good guy. They were probably alive. But he wasn't there when me and my boys formed this. So when that song comes on, our DNA tightens. It tightens. <laughs> it tightens. tightens. There's a particular song, a scale in the genome for wow. each and every one of wow. us. Now when that is... song is played, when your particular okay. prime resonant frequency okay. is played, guess what happens? Your DNA celebrates and tightens. <laughs> Everything else gets pushed back. It celebrates, it celebrates. Harmonic wave resequencing. Wow, this is incredible. So this, he's basically saying, um, I don't know, he's, he's connecting it to like memory. Because if you, we're there at a party, and you're your friend. This guy, uh, he wasn't there. He doesn't remember. So yeah, memory can spark very, like an emotional response. Absolutely, like that's not even a, a question. I think you ask any psychologist, and yes, memory can invoke a psychological emotional response. But I don't think it's because your DNA is celebrating. I don't think there's any evidence that your DNA is tightening. I don't think that these terms actually exist, and I think a lot of people understand that they don't exist, as opposed to the stuff he said earlier, which sounds like it might exist. And that's why he's a con man. Um, he's betting that people in the audience have never heard the terms tightening of the DNA, celebrations of DNA, apparently, is what he's saying. Um, and he's saying that hydrogen is in all these different colors, and it's just really really weird let's go back a little bit and let's hear the whole thing in its entirety to properly take it all in so when that song comes on our dna tightens 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 there's a particular song a scale in the genome for each and every one of us now when that song is played when your particular prime resonant frequency is played guess what happens your dna celebrates and tightens, everything else gets pushed out. Harmonic wave resequencing. The carbon is also the key of E and yellow. Mm. The Very scientific. Nitrogen is G. This is so weird. And all these play a song. So say that the F over F sharps of the oxygen, the green, Look at that. He's doing like is only dance. hitting at an, an F. <laughs> Why? Because there's another frequency coming in from a generator over there. What? What generator? What are you talking about? What's What's happening? What's going on? I I don't think that this at this point it's like everyone is just astonished. Look at this. There's not a smirk in the entire crowd. They're just concerned for him at this point. Look at him. He's like, oh no, what have I done? That's changing and causing it to change. So this F now hits the oxygen. And when it hits... When, when I don't think that's how it works. Wasn't, there was like an old commercial, right? Wasn't it like, uh, that? that's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. Something like that. When this, this no, the F hits the carbon. So the, mm. instead of hitting as an right, F sharp, right. it hits as an F. So when it hits the carbon at an E, it doesn't hit it quite right. So the domino don't file right. So the next domino... Makes it's sense. wrong. And so now we have a uh, malformation happening within our DNA because... Wait, a malformation within our DNA? Because of the music? The frequencies are being pushed off. But when we hear our tone, Ooh, we tighten back up. Right so yeah, I'm in the process of building the harmonic wave resequencer, 
with another doctor who has another, been another able doctor. to successfully. Not just, not just him being a doctor, but another doctor, as he specified. Cure AIDS and cancer. He, so he's, is he saying he can cure AIDS and cancer by like playing music to people? Because that's, that's a very dangerous, you know, stance to hold and try to sell to people. Um, that, hey, you have cancer? They said you need surgery? Oh, screw that. We're just going to, we're going to play some music that has your resonant frequency. And, you know, it's it's completely off, off the wall, off the chain, off the rails. Completely bonkers. Um, I would not trust this person not only to treat 